Hello Crypto fam, thanks for tuning back to my channel and in today's video we will write about to mint NFTs with the help of none other than ChatGPT. What we are really doing today is we are going to write a script that interacts with a deployed smart contract on blockchain and mints NFTs. Now we have already written such scripts to bulk mint NFTs in this channel but what we are really doing today is to learn how to take help from chat GPT and to be really able to write our programs smart contracts more quickly. So let's get started and the first thing that I want to ask chat GPT is to write an ERC 721 smart contract that lets user mint NFT for one ether. Now I am going to ask chat GPT can you write a simple ERC 721 contract that lets external addresses mint NFT. I'm going to be here much more specific and I'm going to ask it, please use safe mint from Open Zeppelin. It's best to be specific if you have any such requirements. So I wanted to use safe mint so that it doesn't end up writing its own mint functionality. I wanted to use Open Zeppelin library. So that's why I'm here a bit more specific. And great, as you can see, ChatGPT has already written a smart contract for us. Perfect. Now I'm gonna ask ChatGPT, how can I deploy this smart contract on blockchain using Remix IDE? As you all can see, it has come up with a bunch of steps and let's take this code and put it in Remix IDE and let's run it. Now I'm going to create a new file called mynft.soul. And I'm gonna paste here all the code. Okay, done. Now we have some warnings. I'm just gonna click compile. And now I'm going to deploy this. Okay, great, it's deployed. And we have this mint function. Okay, one more thing that I want is I don't want to send this to address again and again. Because let's say if I'm minting, I don't want to type my address again. Instead, I want it to be sent to the sender. The NFT should be meant to the sender's address, that is message.sender. So let's ask chat GPT to make this small correction. Can you modify above contract? Uh, let's be more specific here. Can you modify above contract? to remove underscore two argument from mint function and mint the NFTs to message.sender Okay, great, but there is one problem. It's not taking the token ID. So I'm gonna ask ChatGPT again in the above code, please accept token ID as argument for the main function. Great, now I'll update it. I'm gonna delete this older deployed contract and I'm gonna redeploy it. And in case you are thinking, what is this environment? This is a sandbox environment. It's actually a JavaScript VM that runs within your browser. So you can play around with this blockchain. Now you can see I'm going back to mint and yes, I'm gonna mint transact. Oh, we got some error. What is it? Must send one ether to mint an NFT. Okay, cool. We should send an ether. Let's send it one. You can select ether. And now I'm gonna click on transact. Great, we have minted NFT with token ID 1. So, so far, so good. And you can see my contract is deployed at this address. Now, I'm gonna ask Chat GPT for a script so that I can interact with this deployed smart contract. Write a Node.js script to interact with the deployed smart contract. Let me make some addition with the upper contract being deployed on blockchain. I'm asking it to not write the ABIs because it will end up taking all the place and it might actually time out in between. We don't need it. And I'm also going to give it the contact address that I just now copied. Oh, 
ओके वेट आई डिड नॉट आस्क चैट जी पी टी टू राइट द ए बी आई इट इज स्टिल राइटिंग इट आई स्पेसिफिकली मैंशन डो नॉट राइट ए बी आई सो लेट मी क्लिक ऑन स्टॉप जनरेटिंग नाउ एंड लेट मी रीफ्रेज इट दैट आई डोंट वॉन्ट दी ए बी आई लेट मी बी स्पेसिफिक हियर दैट इट्स डिप्लॉड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एड्रेस लेट मी करेक्ट दिस ड्रैक्स स्पेलिंग एंड ऑल्सो आई एम गन राइट इट एट द फ्रंट Please do not write the program for the ABI you are about to write. Yeah, now it looks good. I hope ChatGPT understands this and do not write ABI this time. Great, I did not write the ABI this time. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna copy this script now and I'm heading back to Remix and inside scripts tag. I'm gonna create a new file, min.js, and inside it I'm going to paste it. Okay, right. Now I need to do few tweakings here. Let me resize. Okay, I think I cannot resize it more than this. Okay, leave it. Now I need. to actually connect to the vm which is running on this browser i actually have to do a little bit of updates and how to get this abi that remix generated so i'm going to check one script that is by default there in remix and you can see that's how they are taking the web3 provider and so this is important in artifacts path see from where they are getting this abi is already generated okay it's there in artifacts path so whatever we do compile from here it will be there so you can see my abi is there my nft dot json so with this path i can get the abi okay and then we have to use this metadata and so let's get started now i'll be doing a bit of tweaking in this program so that it can work with this sandbox vm environment just going to copy paste it from here and then we'll do a little bit of tweaking i'm going to write my contract name as well which is my nft okay i think i don't need to give so let's the json So as you all can see, I have done a little bit of changes. I moved a couple of statements inside this async block because a wait and all cannot work outside this block. And also, I actually passed my contract address when we are creating our contract instance. Since it's already deployed, we don't need to deploy it right now. So it should not only take ABI, but it should also take my contract address over here. And that's it. I have also. try to mint a couple of token ids and it has worked so let's try together now and you can see minted nft with token id and we, we do have the transaction hash as well so yeah folks that is it for this video and that's what we did today with chat gpt so what are my thoughts on chat gpt replacing programmers so my thoughts are not very soon we will still need programmers or developers and we as you can see i have to do lot of tweaking myself to make it work in this remix vm sandbox environment and also at multiple places i have to constantly you know guide chat gpt to move in some direction because i had some knowledge already however it has definitely cut down a lot of my time which earlier would take me much more than this so i can definitely give it that it is a very good tool and today's Video's purpose was to show you how you can also use ChatGPT to learn various concepts, to get help with it, and quickly come up with any program or POC that you are trying to build. So that is it for this video, folks. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.